What's going on, Clitch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dup. It's your boy Ross. We in the Clutch, baby. Hey. Guess it's not a uh the most <sighs> exciting video to be doing and checking out right now, man. Um, this was something that came across my Twitter timeline last night or X for those who uh call it that. But um we seen some disturbing news. Um, and it depends on what you want to call it. You know, uh, Ross has the video. We're going to check it out right now. Y'all seen the title of the video. This is J. Cole, um, apologizing, um, to Kendrick about the, uh, diss track that he put out seven minute drill. Um, I have a lot to say, but I'd rather us kind of comment as the video is playing and get the perspective because you know what maybe it was too late maybe i was hearing things maybe i didn't hear exactly what he was saying i just seen the the title and i was i was over it so let's see him explain his side how he feels and let's let's dissect this together i got my dissecting glasses on we got all black on shout out to cody for finishing the story but j cole ended his so let's <laughs> let's get into this one uh, this is serious this is bro. Alright, bro. <laughs> right, bro. Let's, let's get into this, dog. I want to tell y'all a story behind this song that I just have not told before, and I want to tell y'all this right now. When I got <sighs> this song right here, prior to this song and the making of this album right here, I was in a cloudy. It's on the lowest. Dark place, right? Meaning like. You said what? Is it on the volume all the way up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just lower. Myself. I had motion. But at the same time, I also had fear. I had fear that maybe I wouldn't get to where I wanted to go. And so that fear mm. had me moving in an unusual way, right? Okay. It had me moving in a way that I damn near was thinking about and listening to people's expectations of me and then responding off of that, right? Mm. And around the time I made this song, I had just more of a spiritual alignment. I got more in tune with God, like for the great, for the... For the first time in my life. All right, amen. That's life, good. That's amen, good. Amen, amen. I got in tune. Okay. It was not a switch. It's not just a switch that I clicked. Mm. But it, it did take work. Preach. And a song like this is the result of that work. <clears throat> Only because I was so clear when I was making this song and making this album was I able to do this. Now, why am I saying all of that? Because all of the goofy type shit that I look back on that I was doing before that, luckily, I look at the last 10 years of my life and I go, damn. My life been peaceful. My life been blessed. That's I've good. Been, That's awesome. I've been happy. I've been, That's good, I've been man. moving on my own accord, off my own desires, my own wants. Now, why am I saying all of that? Oh, boy. All of that shit led me up into this point. Ten years later after this song, I'm here. Here I am. Mm. I've, been, I've been just chasing my shit. You know what I mean? Like, like following my dream and just trying to, like, head to the fall off in the way that I wanted to do it. Okay. And so I put out this project. On Friday, called Mike Delete later. I don't know how many people done checked it out or whatever, but I put this project out. Bro, you know, I swear to people, you know how many people, people are, are literally calling it might fold later, bro. <clears throat> That's cold, bro. <laughs> might fold later. That's kind of funny, too, though. I'm not even going to hold you. One thing the internet's going to do is internet, internet. bro. Facts. <laughs> Nigga could be dead serious. Yeah. And they're going to be the internet, bro. Oh, my God, bro. Might oh. fold later. That's kind of funny. I'm so proud of that project because I know one is just a lead up. It's just an EP that leads me up to this thing that I've been working on for a long time. And I know the work it took to get to a certain type of skill level. And I love this shit. So I, that shit mean a lot to me, right? So I'm so proud of that project. Mm -hmm. Except for one part. And here we go. It's one part of that shit that Damn. make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did. Oh, no. And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah. Yeah, that's me. Nah, don't do that. Bro, don't, don't do that, bro. You said you might do that. I told you backstage, do not. I would have been just throwing my hands up. Yeah. God damn it. This, that's it. That's it. I gotta keep it 100 with y'all, oh. right? I damn near had a relapse, right? Oh, because y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. 
y'all, y'all, y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? So all not of this the, time, not the credit on the court for the first time, I was tested. Why am I tested? Cause I got the world, and I got my niggas like, what you gonna do, Cole? Yeah, right. <laughs> my niggas like, bitch boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh my fucking god. So yeah. I flooded. I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's war time. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Niggas want to see blood. Yeah. And and I was conflicted because one, I know my heart. You know what I mean? And like, mm-hmm. I know how I feel about my peers, these two niggas that I just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? So oh, I felt man. conflicted because I'm like, bro, I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, of course, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was, that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like <clears throat> I try to like jab my nigga back. And I try to keep it friendly. Okay. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit it's the see the talk part. Yeah. <clears throat> that's that's the very telling part of this situation. Because at the end of the day, me personally, I, I didn't think it was anything more than just rap competition. Yeah. I didn't see it as no, like, it's not like y'all had beef, real beef outside of this. So yeah, I didn't think that from my understanding, it felt like a dangerous uh, back and forth. Felt like it would just be something good for hip hop, you know. Yeah. From my perspective. Yeah, that's that's my initial thoughts on it, but uh, apparently, uh, it didn't sit right with him spiritually. You know. Yeah. That shit make me feel. That shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is, in the midst of me doing that and and in that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this this nigga's fucking. Uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? You think he got... Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick. Hmm? Think somebody sent a message to him or something? I don't know, bro. <laughs> it, it got... <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Because this is a... It hadn't been even been like five days since he dropped the disc. It's only been a weekend. Yeah. And then the nigga just said, nah, it's just not sitting right with me. Is that really what happened? I don't. I think somebody sent him a warning or something. This nigga heard a snippet of what he was about to drop. Bro. This nigga said, oh, wait. Oh, I don't, I don't want those type of Nah, I'm good, bro. This nigga, you cold. You right. You you at the top. Oh, no. I'm going to keep chasing. Correct. As do I. So I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. He hold said, on. as do I. As mm. do I. So, I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You mm. know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like... I think that's the part that I was really, so I think I cut the video off because I was like, nah, bro, don't, don't apologize. And then get into a bag where you like, nah, swing. Like, bro, once you swing at me, if I swing back, I'm not apologizing for swinging back after you swung on me. And then on top of that, oh my God. To give you a, another chance to swing back after you the one who started swinging. <laughs> it's like me apologizing for attempting to uh, take up for myself. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, what, what? Oh, he oh. called Nicole, like to say the big three thing, and he give he's been giving everybody credit. I mean, yeah, let's, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him. Cause I think I stopped watching after this, so. Good, like, it's, it's love. Love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path. I ain't gonna but lie nope. to y'all. Past two days felt terrible. Like, oh. It let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. 
So all of that to say, man. Yeah, some I somebody wanna, said I the I want to now perform the song that's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God. And the name of the song is called Love Yours. I want to do that for y'all. Mm. And then you drop Love Yours. Okay. All right. Well, all right. <sighs> and at that moment, J. Cole turned into J. Fold. The yeah. end. His story ended with him folding. Bro. Kendrick, no. Kendrick Lamar won. Yeah, he won with no without was, even. No contest, bro. Seen, no I seen somebody, and I was reading some of the comments as people was looking at it. Uh, fam, Drake been subliminally tweeting on on social media, and of course, it's not all towards Kendrick because, of course, he has issues with other a lot of other people now, or mm-hmm. been, but just seem like they is more. We're seeing more of it now. People are showing it more now. So you got that. Then Cole with this. I did not expect to see this happening and ending this way. Facts, bro. Not at all. I, I didn't I see was, it. Um, oh, man. <laughs> and I, I have I have two feelings. be honest with you. Oh, I have God. two feelings. I have the, 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 the positive side and I have the negative feeling. Okay. Like my let's, negative. Let's, the negative. Let's start with the f- positive because I'm going to be, my feelings over here is probably. Yeah. <laughs> straight, straight toxic, huh? Yeah, I got yeah. the positive and the toxic. That's what it is. Yeah, positive yeah, versus okay. toxic. Positive, I'll say, we don't know another person's mental capacity. That's you fair. know, something about his music is uplifting, to be honest with you. So who are we to say what type of energy? Because you got to think, Cole, they do shots, but Cole in he may have felt like this cloud over him putting that type of content out if that's not no content he's put out in a very long time or when he was in a certain place back mm-hmm. in the day. So who are we really to say how that may have made him feel to see people mm-hmm. beefing and everybody trying to pick a side and just all of the conversation and rhetoric. Some people probably was dogging Kendrick. You know, well, people were dogging Kendrick actually mm-hmm. after this. People was dogging Cole. You know what Mm -hmm. I'm saying? So he might not have liked the energy surrounded by him responding to said uh, track uh, Mm -hmm. like that. Um, So that that could be that's that's a thing. And we really aren't cold. So we don't know how that mentally affects him in his creative process from sleeping at night. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like you putting out a piece of content, you know, before and you really didn't like it or the cloud around it. And you strayed away from that type of content. And since you strayed away from that content, you've been having a better light on energy when it came to what you was creating. And then if you go back to that content said years later and you feel that again, you might get that rem- that re- you know, that remembrance yeah. of what that felt like when you didn't want to do that before. So um, I guess that's more of the politically correct. I'm not trying to be long winded here, but on the toxic side. Say it. Go ahead and say it. Nigga, bro. Like <laughs> on the toxic side, nigga. Hell nah, Cole. Hell nah, fam. The light skinned niggas have ta- you, you you setting us back, bro. Like it, it's 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 hard, bro. Like I gotta take the glasses off. It is, it's hard, fam. The day in, the day out, man. I mean, we, we dealing with a lot right now, bro. And this Drake over here tweeting and shit and Posting subliminal <laughs> pictures at the sta- on stage and indirectly being direct, but not in not cold on the same stage, apologizing for a nigga beefing you. I mean, taking a shot at you. You ain't shooting me, and I'm gonna shoot back, and I'm apologizing for shooting back at you from shooting me. <laughs> like that shit just ain't gonna happen, bro. And it's getting real tough out here. <laughs> For us, fam, we gotta come on, man. We not looking good right now, man. It's not looking good. You apologizing for some shit that somebody did to you, man. No, you can't have my cookies and nigga, give me yours. My bad, you did. You do look a little more hungry than me. No, bro, come on, Cole. What is going on, Jermaine? And I love Cole, bro, but I I don't know how to feel right now, bro. Like when I saw that, I was like, man, we all lit because Cole didn't finish the story. For people who don't know, wrestling is epic mm-hmm. this weekend. For this to happen, it kind of feel like a little sacrifice. Something had to be done in order for this shit to go on. It's just like, 
Why, fam? Why couldn't we just have both? Why couldn't we just have? I was ready for this moment for him when Kendrick to go back at it, Drake, whatever he doing. But you know, I was just ready for them. Nope. I'm done, bro. I don't want to incriminate anything else. I'm gonna say. I don't want hey, to talk man. to y'all way to good. So. Hey, man, <laughs> it is. Uh... <laughs> This nigga cold, bro. Uh, it, it hurts because it's like, yes, that's, you know, if that's how he feels, that's how he feels. But at the same time, you've been talking this braggadocious talk for a while now, bro. You said on this recent project that you were in your prime and you had the tracks to back it up. You've been talking that raw, raw stuff. So when somebody come at you and this is something that you want, then all right, you dish out something back. And it seems as if that more than just probably his personal feelings, but it seems as if the the responses from people and, and what he was seeing on social media probably played a part into this. Because I'm being right. honest, if it was an overwhelming positive side of, oh, this nigga Cole killed it, he, he got Kendrick on this one, I'm not sure if we would have got this response. I'm not sure if we would have got this apology. Mm -hmm. To be honest, but at the end of the day, you stand on it. You stand on what you said, and nothing in that diss uh, even seemed like it was on some, you know, more than just competition. And to be fair, Kendrick has been saying this for years. Quite some time. Always bro. felt like he was the best one. Mm -hmm. He said it on that control verse. He named all you niggas. <clears throat> he said it when he teamed up, teamed up with Baby King, smoking on your top five tonight. Bro, we all can, a lot of people considered uh, you know, Cole in that top five category. Facts. So at the end of the day, Kendrick's been on the same timing for a long time. Yeah. And this ain't nothing new and he ain't never apologized. Never. Not one time mm -hmm. because he truly mm -hmm. feels like he is the top dog, no pun intended with TDE. He uh, feels like he's the there, Ross? He seems like he feels like he's the top dog and Facts. everybody else is beneath him. And he lets niggas know that constantly on whatever feature or album or whatever he on, he lets niggas know that. He don't give a fuck. So if you're going to respond, you might as well just not respond it if you didn't want to make anyone be offended. But mm -hmm. it's hip hop, bro. And if you say you and your Muhammad Ali stuff, like you've been saying, and even on that first person shooter mode, the nigga went in on Drake's track and was like basically on Drake's track. Killed hey, me. I'm really that nigga, bro. Killed even me. on your shit. Killed I me. am that nigga. You can't, now you backpedal. A few days later, I think he's the first rapper in hip hop history to backpedal that fast to apologize for a diss <laughs> within a week. He has that distinction now, <sighs> and it sucks because J. Cole's a very talented rapper. Very talented. <clears throat> Some could say he's one of the best out there right now, but public perception is 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 going to be well. This nigga, he apologized for a diss. So Cole, a Kendrick wins this with no contest. It's really just a one v one against him and Drake, hey, and Cole, man, Cole hey, is just, let's just stop. sitting Let's there. cut that up. Drake, Drake, I don't know what to say, bro. It's not looking good for us, fam. <laughs> the light skin brigade. It's not It's not looking good for us, bro. It's really not. It's looking tough. Uh, I mean, we was just so, we were so powerful at one point in time, bro. We made our comeback. We was good. You know, we was, we was on the up and up, man. Like, then this shit happened. I thought we was really finna get in our bag with the little beef with Kendrick, you know what I'm saying? 2v1 handicap match. I know we're about to go down. <laughs> but uh, all of a sudden, niggas start tweeting or messaging, and then niggas start apologizing. You know what I'm saying? And again, I, you know, all jokes aside, I don't know what his mental is like, but at the same time, it's like, this is hip-hop, man. As a as a fan, as a supporter, I was expecting a nice spar between two two of the great pen penmans that we have out here to see some good penmanship and to see a good back and forth. I mean, you can have your, choose your side, but at the end of the day, hip hop always win. Music always mm -hmm. win when it comes to the greats, knowing that they the great and throwing their jabs. And then now we get in the ring now. We've been jabbing for so long. Now we in the ring. Now when I get in the ring, I can't say, on the cool, bro, you the best. I ain't even want to fight you. Here's a white towel. There you go. Before I throw up like a real punch, and that's how I feel a little bit slighted as a, a supporter because I didn't see this being no Pac and Biggie shit. I didn't. It, it wasn't. It didn't have to get personal. Even if you felt like wasn't nothing how. Even if you felt like what you were saying wasn't actually your words, 
and how you feel is you was really just speaking up for what the masses are saying. And it's just one of the moments where you just pretty much putting into bars what the people are saying. Doesn't have to be your true feelings. It wouldn't have been, it didn't have to go that far. Who knows if Kendrick would have even responded because he's done this before where he's called out and he's, he's responded and he just kind of, that's all right. I just wanted to wake y'all up real quick. Boom, I'm out. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Unless you got that text message. It's up, I, that's boy. what I feel like, bro. It, 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 I, and now, this is the real part. Dude. Before we end this video, because this is long enough, he got a message, bro. Somebody had to have hit him and said, hey, nah, they must have sent him a deem emoji or, uh, or something. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> uh, a cold world with a X through it, or a cold world getting sliced in half, or something. Something had to... right before you went on stage. They sent him a text. Hey man, enjoy your show. We 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 somewhere in the crowd. We see yeah, you. Yeah, we somewhere. And they got on there. Hey 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 hey. Let me before the hey, cut it off. Cut, put the light cut on the me. music. Hey, I just want y'all to know, Kendrick is that nigga, bro. I ain't even. Hey, he that nigga. Hey, he actually, make some wild. noise if he that nigga. Yeah! Uh, Man, he, right. got a, he got a text after he got off stage. Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> good job. I like that. Hit that. Like, somebody texted him and said, bro, you've been sleeping good for 10 years. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. I know you've been, you've been sleeping a little rough, haven't you, a couple right. of days. Yeah. I know you have. It's, it's about to get rough. It's about to get real rough. You ain't getting no sleep if you don't yeah. stop. It it really feel like that. But I, you know what? I'm... Oh. As I say, I, it's just, it hurts. All right, man. You feel me? But it's, hey, y'all, let us know down below how many how points light skins is down. Let us know how many <laughs> points. Y'all gonna say it anyway. Um, <laughs> how y'all feeling about J Fold now, bro? J Fold, bro. Damn. How y'all feeling about J Fold right now, man? Because I'm I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I, 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 I said, you know, for those who are in the wrestling, man, you know, Cody finally finished this story. But it, like Dub said, something had to be sacrificed. This weekend couldn't just go off Perfect. with no problems. Someone had to be sacrificed, and it was J. Cole. Bro, we checked out the album right before. It was on a the Friday night stream. Yeah. Because it was like 2 in the morning. Yeah, we checked Bro, it out. We checked like, this yeah, out Friday. Yeah. early in the morning. It was Friday morning. So from <laughs> Friday before Cody finished the story to the time Cody finished the story, J. Cole was having nightmares? Like, <laughs> he he was having a, an American nightmare. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Smoking on your top five tonight. <gasps> Great. <gasps> is that me? Is he, out, is he out there? Come Fukini, is that you? No. <laughs> Nigga, it's just big B. It's like, come on, man. Like, hey, bro. Hey, let us know what y'all think. I'm, I'm interested to see what you guys think. Uh, I love to poke fun and stuff like that. Still love Cole, man. Um, is Cole still in your top? I, I still yeah, have him up know. there. But you know, people. people that nigga ranking dropped. <laughs> the, the ranking, yeah, he definitely. Ranking. The ranking. Nigga, he's still top 10, but I don't know. He, in and the Drake, top five, and Drake know. don't got too long to yeah, be playing but, around before his ranking slip too, because <sighs> I, I'm not going to continue to have the argument of who is the best out of them three. Yeah, if bro. he ain't said Cole and already kind of slid and kind of gracefully bowed down to let Kendrick yeah. surpass him. So wherever you had Kendrick and Cole on the list, Cole yeah. allowed Kendrick to be on yeah. top of that. So if you already yeah. had him at number one, well, Kendrick just stand there. Yeah. But if you had Cole at three, I mean, Kendrick at three and, Ken and Cole at two, well, Cole, Cole took Kendrick's place. It's, it's, yeah. he's, he slipped on the ranking. So Drake only got about so long yeah. before Kendrick take his spot and be crowned that nigga because it's too many things being done outside of rap yeah we love you guys hopefully y'all enjoyed the video start the conversation down below let us know what you guys think let us know what's on your mind when it comes to what just transpired this weekend man and uh i want to know what y'all thoughts are we'll be reading the comments continue to spray love be love catch y'all in the next video man i'm the last of the light-skinned mohicans out here man so <laughs> please please spread love for, for me I'm going through catch y'all in the next one peace Already. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen, I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me.